I was at a playground when I was younger with my family. When I was on the swings, I noticed a sliver of something poking out of the sand. So I hopped off the swing to see what the mysterious object was. As I moved the sand off of the object, I was so surprised to see a $10 bill. As a kid, it felt like I had won the lottery. I was on cloud nine from finding such an amazing treasure hidden in plain sight. That was when I began to be a treasure hunter. I loved to look for hidden treasures everywhere I went. Every place that I went to, I would look at the ground and search for treasures. I found many treasures too. I found jewels and unique little trinkets. In fact, before I started my blog, I was in church worshiping. I was on my knees and I had my face to the ground during a very beautiful and intimate moment with Jesus. Right in the middle of that precious moment, I felt an urge to open my eyes. When I opened my eyes, I was completely in shock. There was a diamond on the ground right in front of me, and it was just sitting there in a dusty carpet. That's when I knew I would name my blog and now company Diamonds from the Dust. I will never forget how special that moment was. Because of the special childhood experience of finding a buried treasure, I have had this love for treasure hunting. What I love the most is God knows this about me, and so he hides treasures for me all the time. One of my favorite places that God hides treasures for me is in my dreams. Recently, God took me on a prophetic treasure hunting adventure through my dreams. First, he showed me there was a car that sunk under the water and it had $100 in it. When I first saw the treasure, I knew one thing for certain. God always gives us super abundantly more than we can dream, think, or ask for in his promise of Ephesians 3.20. Since I also knew from experience that God always gives me much bigger than what he shows me in my dreams, then I believe that God had hidden a thousand dollars for me to find. As if I was treasure hunting in real life, I was constantly in a mental place of expectation and hope. I was expecting to find this treasure, and I was trusting that God would draw it out for me to find. Like walking along the seashore, looking for treasures in the sand, I followed the flow of the Holy Spirit one morning, and He led me right to the hidden treasure that he had concealed in my dreams. All of a sudden, I received a thousand dollars sent to me, and just like that, the hidden treasure of my dream was placed into my hands. I was so excited because, for one, I needed that exact amount to cover my room at the time. I was also so excited because I saw something that shimmered in my dreams come out to me as a tangible blessing from God. A little while later, I had discovered another hidden treasure from God in my dreams. I had this dream that a lady was picking up coins off the ground that she found. She was counting as she picked them up, and there were eight altogether. In the same scene, I saw myself picking up coins, and then I saw the number 11. Following that part, God spoke one sentence to me, and it was, I am the giver of strength. I woke up so eager to go treasure hunting again. The very first thing I had to do was narrow in on the target of this dream treasure. Just like before, I knew God was giving me more than my dream. By faith, I was expecting to see $800 show up and $1,100. It was a number that God placed in my heart to believe for, so I just went for it. After that, I started my treasure hunt. However, it was not that I had to go looking for anything, but I just had to be expecting, which is to have hope. 
Hope is to expect with confidence that something will happen. So I kept looking and expecting for this treasure to appear. It was not something that showed up the same day as I had dreamed it, but after a few days of staying in expectation, the treasure came to the surface. I received a notification one morning that I was given $800. Bingo! The first treasure was recovered. It was not only an exciting moment because I saw the gift that God had hidden in my dreams, but it was also something I needed at that exact moment. The treasure came out at just the perfect timing. It was maybe a week or two later, I received a notification that I received $1,100. Just like the other, it was the exact amount that I needed at that moment, and it was the exact amount that God had given me the faith to believe for. The next hidden treasure was revealed in my dreams was a gold credit card. In my dream, I was putting gas in my car, and God said, I had a hidden credit card with the number $590 on it. The Lord said I could activate my credit card and use that as the money to cover our needs. When I woke up by faith, I told God, I activate my $590 in credit to use however we need. Like walking along the beach with my eyes glued to the sand, I was looking and expecting to get some kind of credit to use to pay for our needs. I was also watching my emails to see if there was any message or notifications about this treasure from God. I kept refreshing the page over and over, just expecting something to suddenly appear. I even imagined how it would look and somehow that made me believe even more. And then it happened. I got an email from a friend saying that she had an available credit of $590 and that she knew that God was giving it to me to use for our needs. It was just like I dreamed. That time was the only time it wasn't an exaggerated number. But there was something so powerful about seeing everything unfold in the exact detail of how I dreamed it would. God will meet us at our expectations and he will deliver so much more than we can dream, hope, or imagine. Receiving dream treasures from God is something he has been doing for me for years. I picked up a lot of buried treasure and helpful ways to recognize a dream treasure from God and how to receive it by faith. I actually made a fascinating class for those who would like to find dream treasures from God and bring them to the surface. Many of the treasures that God has hidden in dreams for us are overlooked and not recognized as being a hidden promise to recover in our situations. There is also a process that I use to enter into completely doubt-free faith. That is why I am sharing this class, because there is so much more than meets the eye. I also included a couple of prophetic symbol and number charts to help you with your treasure hunting as well. I am a kid at heart, and I love looking for treasures everywhere that I go. I never pass up an opportunity to pick up pennies off the ground because I know God is revealing his promises to provide through every treasure that I find and apply absolute faith to. The story that actually started the Dream Diamond class that I offer is the most special of them all. You can read about how it all came to be and how God put us into the Dream diamond class by putting us into a diamond club during a very critical time of trusting him by faith. You can find the story about that and get more information about the dream diamond class at my website diamondsfromthedust.com.
and it's under the dream diamond class tab. The class is an easy listening and self-paced set of audio lessons that reveal the secrets behind discovering hidden treasures in our dreams. During this short but wonderful class, I unpack some of my biggest discovered secrets of finding dream diamonds from God and how God taught me to bring them to the surface as tangible blessings. God is always moving before us, dropping treasures in the sand for us to pick up. Some of the best things come from the lowest and most unsuspecting places. So when it seems like there is no way to survive what is next, or you don't know how you will get through a difficult time. Go back to your dreams and see if there are hidden blessings for you to recover. God will meet you at your faith. So instead of looking at the dirt of your problems, needs, and worries, look beyond them as you look for the hidden riches that God has buried in the sand. Things are never as they seem. Even when it looks like you are going to suffer or go without your needs being covered, God has a secret cachet of hoarded wealth tucked away, especially for the young at heart. I love you, and I pray that God would show you the secret treasures that are hidden right before your eyes.